through. Congratulations on being inducted in the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. Well deserved. Thank you. I'm going to ask you a few questions, and the purpose of that is just to let people know a little bit more about you. Okay. What got you involved in wrestling to begin with? Uh, so for me, you know, I was, um, quick story, I, was, uh, I, was, I grew up in Oakland, California, and um, uh, dropped out of high school and found myself in Porter, actually Corcoran originally is where I started wrestling, uh, but I had a brother that worked for the Corcoran prison and he ultimately ended up moving to Porterville, high, Porterville, and so I continued my wrestling through high school at Porterville. But yeah, just kind of randomly. Honestly, it was a, a random person in my apartment complex said, hey, do you want to go try wrestling? And I, I tried it. That was it. It's amazing. <laughs> now, once you got involved in wrestling, uh, did you have any people that you looked up to, like role models uh, in the sport, kind of a hero? Wrestling hero. Yeah, you know, I mean, um, for like actual wrestlers, uh, you know, I, I used to just, I wasn't like a student of the sport early on. I was just doing it, you know, I just enjoyed it. I liked the fight, it was fun, um, made friends. I think a little bit into my kind of wrestling, maybe by my junior, senior year. I just remember vividly seeing this newspaper article with like Kevin Jackson and Kenny Monday, because this is like, I'm in high school in the early 90s, and I see these two black wrestling figures. So if you know, I'm half my father's black, African American, my mother's white. And so I saw these two, two people and, uh, and I, you know, I, I think that made a, uh, like an impression on me. And the, the full circle story in that is I ended up coaching with Kevin Jackson uh, at Iowa State for a few years as one of his assistant coaches. So that was, that was pretty cool. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. It's a good story. Thank you. Um, what part of your personality do you think or personal attribute uh, that you embraced or that you have that uh, enabled you to be successful in the sport? Because you're quite you know, successful as an athlete. Um, you know, I, I was pretty, you know, interestingly when I was, in the early days, I was just pretty carefree. Meaning like I just, uh, um, I was just enjoying it. I was having a lot of fun. Um, it was tough, but there was something about it that was really intriguing to me. And uh, I, I kind of wrestled with like, say, reckless abandonment a little bit. I just wanted to score points and wrestle hard. And, and, uh, and I think that, you know, I had to calm that down later, you know, to, to really win. You know, once I was able to do that, I, I won more. But I'd say just, yeah, just kind of my carefree attitude um, about the sport in the early days definitely, I think, set me on like a nice kind of trajectory. Uh, you bet. Uh, I'm sure you've had a lot of outstanding memories of the sport, but is there one match or one memory that stands out more than others? Yeah, I mean, I, I wish I could say it was something later in my career that stands out, but, <laughs> you know, which means maybe I would have won a national title at some point, but uh, it was in high school. I, you know, I was a high school state champ my senior year. It was the first time I ever even qualified for the state tournament. I don't even think I was seeded. Uh, I won the finals match, 16 to 15, you know, letting the guy go with like 10 seconds or 30 seconds left to get a takedown. And so I think that that's a match that stands out. And, and I think that like did something for me, you know, um, that I think allowed me or made me believe that I could probably continue to wrestle. And so that's, that's why that specific match and time was so pivotal, I think. Sure, it would be. If you had the opportunity now that you're you know, you're still involved in wrestling, so it's not really the end of your career. But uh, if you could do anything over again, would you? Uh, that's a tough one. I, I try personally not to, not to second guess too much just because I think it set me on the path that I'm on. And I really feel good about the work I'm doing now and, and um, kind of my role with Beat the Streets LA and I think uh, if I hadn't gone through all the things that I did, maybe I'm not where I am now. So I don't know if there's, I mean, I, I, I kind of want to win an NCAA title. I wanted to make an Olympic team, but you know, I, I feel really good about where I landed. So I don't know if there's much I would change. All these experiences make you who you are. They which are, is, yeah. Which is yeah. a good thing. Yes, they do. What would you like people to remember about who were watching? Um, I'd say at this point, like in my life, um, Definitely not my wrestling accolades. Um, 
I would say it's the work I'm doing now. Um, uh, you know, we, we have a, a powerful mission in, in Beat the Streets LA, you know, trying to work to empower kids who are a bit less fortunate, who don't have the resources that others have, and I think we're making a real impact, and I, I think that'll be, you know, hopefully a part of my legacy and, and what I like people to remember most. Um, and we're kind of just getting started, even though I've been doing this for 13 years, I think the next 10 years are going to be our best year, so I'm real excited about that. It's good work, you know, it really is. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Enjoy your evening. Okay.